Ask Reddit by Pred1949. What made you realize you're old? Everything seems to be an act of letting go. Deleted. Whenever I have to enter my birth date in a drop down menu. You see me scrolling. I'm hating. Somebody trolling, trying to tell me that I'm past age 30. I was reading Rolling Stone at the doctor's office and realized I hardly knew any of the bands on the billboard number one singles list 90s music to my kids is like what 60s music was to me. I almost fell over when a local radio station called songs from the 80s the golden oldies. No. The golden oldies are the 50s 60s. Deleted. If you want to return the favor, pick one of the ones they listed, listen to some of it, and the next time you see them say hey I listen to X that you recommended, they're great absent mindedly hum some of it when you're around them but doing other stuff like cooking. They'll never be able to listen to that band again. My everyday routine, come home from work, watch Wheel of Fortune, look at the newspaper and sit outside, weather permitting to watch the birds and squirrels. If that doesn't mean I am old, then nothing does. My boyfriend and I like to watch Jeopardy and 8 Line, or if the weather is nice we sit outside, watch the squirrels and birds in the yard, and grill. The other day a crow and a squirrel almost got in a fight in our yard over some pumpkin seeds. We're 30 and 32 and we live a pretty relaxed homebody life compared to other people our age. I like it. When I started mixing corn flakes with frosted flakes because frosted flakes alone was too fucking sweet. Seven year old me would be shocked at old me. My kid makes fun of me because I mix white milk with chocolate milk because it's too sweet. Just leave me alone at grab my lactate. The first time the barber asked if I wanted my eyebrows trimmed. First time this happened to me, the woman. A friend of my wife's, didn't even ask. It was so quick and in two completely fluid motions that it didn't dawn on me until later what she'd done as well as the age implications. But I did sit there and think ha, huh, guess that makes me old. Viggo Mortensen is now older than Ian McKellen was when he played Gandalf in Fellowship. Holy shit. Music that I listened to as a kid being played on the oldies radio station. When I heard 50 Cent in Dark Club jamming on on the oldie station I just about fell out of my chair and broke my hip. At 44 I don't feel old but when I'm going to do something nowadays I think about it if I could get hurt. I'm 45. My mother's backyard has a 275 foot hill in the back. As kids we would sled down it. Standing up, backwards, on someone's shoulders, at high speeds, you name it. We would end up smashing into the side of the house, laughing. I took my 7 year nephew up the same hill to sled and my first thought was oh my god, this is terrifying. I could really get hurt, I had to crawl back on all fours to get down. Doing nothing became my favorite thing to do on the weekend. Deleted. When celebrities would come on late night shows and they looked so much older, then I would think I guess I do too. Or that you know all the celebrities that die. I remember celebrity deaths to me 4 years were just always random people that might as well have been from ancient Rome for how well I knew of them and how old they were. Now every celebrity death is like what exclamation point. She died? But she was just in that movie but then you remember that for you. Just in that movie was a movie 30 years or more ago sometimes. I recently saw a Reddit post about things that were popular 25 years ago and I thought about the 80s until I saw a comment that pointed out that we are talking about 1998. I also then realized that I am older than 25. I also recently used the phrase 20 years ago when I was talking to a friend. That hit different. Born in 83. The 60s seems like a crazy long time before my time. But 1969 was 14 years before I was born. That's like 2009 till now. 
I was browsing a thrift store a few years ago, an RCA wooden console TV caught my eye because we had an identical one growing up so I checked it out for fun, read the back of it and everything. A while later as I was standing in line beside the TVs, a kid behind me points to the wooden console one and goes mom, look at that ancient TV. It was made the same year I was born. I'm sure you probably know this already, but technology works on its own timeline 10 years isn't that long for us whereas in the tech world we were watching on only 1080p TVs with our DVD players. Edit, I stand corrected as DVDs displayed up to 720p lol. I've been a gigging musician for over 30 years and in the last 10 those late nights just started killing me. Oh man yeah. I'm 57 and I play in a couple of bands. I was loading stuff in the car for a show a couple of weeks ago and my wife was laughing and saying you're usually asleep at this time. I quit drinking recently because I was drinking way too much. This was my first show without alcohol so that helped. I drank a few bottles of water. I was finally in bed by 3.30 but I get up around 6 o'clock. When 30 seems like just a kid. They still have all their hair color. Definitely kids. You know what's a totally not fun game to play with your younger co-workers? Asking them what cartoons they grew up watching. Asking them where they were on 9 stroke 11 is also a good one. This brings a story to mind. My husband is in tech and was chatting with a couple of colleagues. He asked them how they weathered the 2008 tech crunch and they both just stared. One guy said, I was 8. I think that's when our age hit us. When my mom moved into my mirror. Mirror mirror on the wall. I've become my mother after all ha ha. Both parents have died and their siblings are also gone. The big one there is when one of your contemporaries, people you grew up with, old school mates, relatives in your generation, etc, dies, and it's really sad, but not a horrific tragedy of someone being taken too early. My grandfather lived to be very old, and he got used to that, for better or worse, so that sometimes he'd say things that were kind of shocking, but routine for him. Like I used to have a lot of friends. They are all dead now. My checkney light turned on. Get that looked at before it becomes a check lower back light. When I discovered my sciatic nerve. My sciatic nerve can go fuck itself. I use Urban Dictionary. No cap. When I gave dating sites a try and found that the people my age were old looking. Deleted. I was watching Derry Girls and thinking, finally, they cast actual teenagers in a show about teenagers they were all over 25 and one of them was 31. To be fair, they do look like teenagers. The styling and costuming is really on point. Spent my 30th birthday itching to go home and take my new cordless vacuum cleaner for a spin. Reminds me of when I was at a store and thought to myself no, I shouldn't buy that video game, I've already treated myself to leaf blower today. When the supermarket started playing the music I listened to in high school. Edit, while I for the golden drip my inbox. I work in a supermarket, and the daytime playlist is apparently designed to be very friendly to 52 year old white women. I sing along a lot. And occasionally wonder how a given song was too suggestive to be played at a JR High Dance circa 1984, but it's perfectly fine as supermarket music. I used to sneak out of home to go to a party, now I sneak out of the party to go home. Deleted. Me, at 28, am I old? I hit 49 years of age and my body decided at that point that I'm old. Every bad decision I made regarding my health came back to bite me. Looked in the mirror. That's not my face, and it's way older than me. Then my voice said damn, 
I mulled and I had to agree, but was very confused who said it. When all of my fellow welding apprentices at work started calling me their shop mom. Hello shop mom. I'm work dad. One of kids stopped herself mid-sentence when she was referring to me as elderly. I'm not even 40 yet. I threatened to date her mom and ground her. Wait a minute let me get my glasses and put the main light on to read this properly. A bunch of things lol. Bent down to pick up my 20 pound pup and threw my back out. Seeing athletes get drafted into the NFL that were born after 2000. Also watching guys I saw get drafted now retiring. Wanting peace and quiet instead of parties. Getting excited about grocery or furniture shopping. Being older than baseball players. Dear hair. My hair has been thinning since my late 20s, but what really killed it is the four little hairs that still stick out my forehead where my hairline used to be. Added that to my ears, nose, and eyebrow trimming routine. When Gen Z started calling me auntie, I mentioned the band Pearl Jam and no one had heard of them exclamation point. I teach in a high school, and some kids are dressing exactly like what I remember from the 90s. Baggy jeans, Nirvana Green Day PJ patches all over everything. Probably feels like kids in the 90s wearing Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd stuff. When kids referred to the 90s at the late 1900s. Don't want to confuse people with the good old 1890s kids. Two words, grey pubes. I'm at the age when I can't tell if the grey on my balls is due to loss of pigment in my pubes or just an accumulation of dust from dragging them around on the fucking ground. Look at an intact cardboard box you have in your house. What do you think? If the answer is, oh, this is a good cardboard box, I should hold on to it, you know it has started. When I was about to turn 50 and I got my first AARP application in the mail. Can you still kick and stretch though? Discovered I had a favorite spatula. Mine broke. Haven't been able to find one I 100% like to replace it. I was taking to my team, early 20s, I'm basically their parents age. About the actress Gillian Anderson and when it didn't ring a bell, I said you know, Agent Scully from X-Files. No one knew X-Files or who Agent Scully was but one of the girls chipped in oh, the mother from sex education and they all clicked. Nirvana being considered classic rock. But problems. There, I said it so you don't have to. There's only two type of person in the world. The ones who have hemorrhoids, and the ones who will. My teenager had a camera that prints out the picture. It's amazing. Look it prints out the picture right after you take it. FML. I had to go to Walgreens to get my passport photo taken. They use a digital camera. The clerk helping me was so young, she said something like I've never used one of these old type cameras before. I had to help her get the SD card out and put it in the printer. I was caught off guard, but I guess I've been using a smartphone to take pictures instead of a designated camera since 2009, so she was probably barely over a toddler when there was one in use in her household. When I realize that I own t-shirts that are older than people I work with. Guy at the liquor store looked really quick at my license. I said that was fast. He said it starts with 19. Mine ends in 68. Nobody ever asks me for ID. When I started working with kids, and they were told you listen to, my name exclamation point. Do what she tells you, okay hang on, I am in charge here. Of tiny people? FCK. When you're looking for an adult to take care of a situation but you're actually the adult in the situation. Me. Damn it. When my back starts hurting every time I sit too long. 
nearly busted my ass in the shower and suddenly life alert made sense. I fell in the shower last year and my younger sister joked about getting me a life alert for Christmas. Falling in the shower is terrifying, especially if you live alone. 